finally we come back around to the kundalini course uh welcome one and all back to soul mechanics please step into my office make yourselves comfortable take off all your clothes and sit this one is going to uh, sort of kick off the ict course which is intended to be a fully interactive course for all of you now the entirety of the course is dedicated to our official exemplary student uh, master jaban bekaj that's probably mispronounced heavily, but uh, Shaban, uh, should he be watching, sir, you will be um, fully entitled to make use of that, that titling for yourself by the end of this course, should you choose to stick with it. And uh, what we're going to need from Shaban, Master Shaban Bikaj, is for him to pitch in with the course doing short interviews from time to time regarding his progression and so this is going to begin the training factor we're going to start with conditioning because we want to prep you for this and and there are various ways in which we can prep you for this we're going to what we're going to do is do a mix here with this ICT course by the way Jabon Bekaj he's uh he's replacing Tammy who was the original intended student because she backed out like a punk yeah, Tammy, that's right. No, Tammy's fucking awesome, though. She's actually, she's gone ahead and asserted herself as the acting director for two, I think, I believe two other groups in the network, as well as a few, maybe as many as four or five different uh, outlet groups that she and I are working on together, along with other directors in the network, just got started. Uh, kind of speciality groups that offer mentoring and such, which I'll put links to some of those groups in the description here for you guys to check out if anybody wants to engage the mentoring service they, services they offer. Of course, my services are available to all of you, uh, PRN, and, and as, avail as availability allows. Um, I can't offer particular direct counseling or mentoring for any given person long term or full time, other than, of course, Master Shivan Bekaj who is replacing Tammy as the exemplary student for this course. But everybody else that's watching, we want you involved. Uh, you can engage the training as I present it to Siobhan, and you can pitch in in the comments or in the groups, and you can tell us what's going on. Give us feedback as to how this works out for you, and I'll tell you what. I'm going to start making merchandise for the channel, because a lot of channels do that. They have merchandise. Now, obviously, we have this bitchin' no division symbol, Anybody who goes through with this course and gives feedback on having finished off this course, I will send you absolutely free of charge, no no paying for it at all in any way whatsoever, I'll pay shipping, a free no division jacket. Denim jacket with no division on the back, or a suit jacket. A bitchin' suit jacket with a no division symbol on the back. That's a promise. Anybody who follows through with the course, uh, you can have your choice between denim or... Uh, you know, excellent. Anyways, how we want to begin this, Shaban actually went ahead and purchased the first two of three exemplary tutorial books that we, we recommend. The Celestine Prophecy by James Redfield and Way of the Peaceful Warrior by Danny Millman. The third book being Conversations with God by Neil Donald Walsh. And then the final piece to that is the What the Bleep Do We Know movie which, by the way, Shaban, you want to check that out. You can probably see that online somewhere. You can use streaming services. In fact, I'll put a link to a free streaming service where you can probably find that movie in here. I'll give you guys the links for everything that you need for this. And anybody that wants to pitch in, pitch in. Anybody who's undergone this before, anybody who has any ideas, anybody who knows anything about this, pitch in. We're building a training course here together. This schematic belongs to all of us. It's not just mine. I was trained initially. My spotter trained me specifically in activating the Kundalini. That's what she had wanted me to do. And as I was saying just before, what we're going to do is try and create a schematic for a mixture between the long-term, long-route method, the all-natural long-route method, and the shortcut method, which is what I used. My spotter was against the shortcut method, I believe. She didn't really, she never said anything against it, but she wouldn't allow me to pursue it, and she wouldn't talk to me about it. She just wouldn't even engage when I told her shit like, you know, for example, marijuana helped with meditation and helped open up the inspirational faculties, and I'd try to tell her this, she just wouldn't even talk about it. 
Like, I mean, she utilized alchemy of that sort, utilizing substances from time to time, but never, I don't think, with herself. She would always utilize that as, as an offering to somebody else, as a shortcut method of healing them or helping them in some way. But she would never make use of it herself, and she would never introduce it to me directly. In fact, when she was using things like that, she'd use marijuana to make brownies to give to people. She wouldn't even tell me that she was doing it. Like, I actually caught her making the brownies once, and I was surprised. Anyways, <clears throat> um... She <clears throat> introduced me to the long route method, and what she was capable of, I should like to say, just to, to amp you up, like for example, we would have started this with the, the Vegeta going Super Saiyan, because I will never, you will never, ever catch me endorsing or promoting Kakarot. Kakarot's a bitch. All he did throughout the entirety of that fucking series was cheap shot steal the spotlight from Vegeta, who actually deserved it. So, that's why that's there. But, uh, the, the Kundalini... Is, is what that's based on, like that Super Saiyan, that's exactly what it is. When you activate this Kundalini and you actually make use of it the first thing, when you activate it the first time and you get it going, it feels like an orgasm creeping up your spine and like your spine, you can even see it. You can almost visualize it lighting up like white hot, just building up your spine and when it gets to the head, fireworks, very similar to DMT, dimethyltryptamine experience, which yes, Dimethyltryptamine can be used as a shortcut, I imagine, because I, I didn't get to use DMT until more recently in my life. I hadn't even heard of it back then, but it does produce very similar, though profoundly exacerbated effects. Like, I mean, it's a similar kind of condition that it places you in, but you see an entirely different world with DMT. With the Kundalini, when it gets to the head, it, it opens up a new like a it, it breaks through the filters in this world and it shows you this world in just a magnified way and that it's we'll get to all of the effects and shit but just what i wanted to say about the super saiyan thing is that when you have it active and you know how to use it and you maintain it properly and you actually <clears throat> forge it and activate it it feels like the cells in your body light up like your body lights up you can feel that aura around you glowing you know, that's where all these legends and, and cartoons and shit and stories of people glowing and lighting on fire and all of that, it comes from this. This is what it is. And, and it feels like intense bursts of energy. It, it activates the adrenals. It activates your, your uh, I think, nor, norepinephrine. It, it activates dopamine. It, it dumps your dopamine. It's just, it, it very much gets you, like, high and and improves you dramatically but in short bursts and it's difficult to maintain and it can chew you up and wear you down so there there are a lot of things that factor in there are a lot of facets that factor into maintenance and and to cultivation that's the impulse cultivation training so what i want you to do shiban is uh forget about the dmt for right now because the thing is that if you were to use that and it did actually activate it spontaneously you'd be in serious fucking trouble you don't want that to happen so i mean dmt if you want to get it and fuck around with it fine uh, you know share your experiences with us that's great but i i wouldn't recommend using it specifically for this just yet uh, other other shortcuts that I'll present throughout the course, uh, shortcuts particularly for each chakra individually, I'll be offering throughout the course that will allow for you to boost it. But essentially the shortcuts as you're using them, they're used to elum elucidate values, to bring values to, to light in, in your perception, and, and to unlock clusters of values in your psychology. They are not used to produce, ultimately, effects. They're, they're used to produce for you the circumstances that allow for you to achieve the effects naturally, inherently. Of course, it's all natural. Everything we do is natural, but you get what I mean. The, the all-natural, long-route method. Now, uh, what we want to do firstly is we want you to be, for all intents and purposes, re-educated. That is to say, you're going to have to have certain values. You're going to want to be equipped with certain values that will allow for you to progress along the, these lines. And the first value that I need for you to take to heart is that, you know, when, when you're on this path alone, especially if you're starting it younger, younger down the line, you, you're, he's around the age that I was. Uh, he, I got a bit of a head start on him, I think, by a year or so on this in my training. But in his case, 
in your case, sir, you have a, a huge, unique, and even somewhat unfair advantage in the factor that, obviously, you had me as a spotter. Uh, my spotter was a little tricky. She was... And what I was saying about her, sorry, I hate to cut, you would cut, but she could do the most profoundly astounding things. Like, she could, she could set up a, tr a, a like, a lesson she wanted to teach me, and, and it'd be like, she'd, pr she'd present the lesson, she'd talk about it to me, and, and get me engaged, get me interested in it, and then she'd take me out, and we'd wander around the city for, like, a week at a time, just couch, couch surfing, you know, staying at different pe people's houses and shit for a long time like a week or so, and she would have the entire week, shot for shot, step by step, the whole scenario, like, mapped out. Like, she would orchestrate these synchronicities that would occur. She didn't have to go talk to anybody. She didn't have to call. We didn't have cell phones back then. Uh, there was no internet. Internet was like a sci-fi fantasy back then, so we were out and about in the wilds of the, the old west world without all these connections and shit. And, you know, you had to use a landline if you wanted to contact somebody, and most of the people we visited didn't have a phone. But this this book, The Celestine Prophecy, was, was surfing around the area. People were picking it up left and right by word of mouth, people handing it, passing it along. So everywhere we went, there was at least somebody there was engaged in this and trying to teach the others. And so this was coming to life all around us. And that made it obviously much easier for us to... Because in the story of The Celestine Prophecy, the dude's going around following synchronicities and the insights they're pa being passed around amongst the people that he's seeing down in Peru and so it's all always active somebody's engaged in it in our case it was the same thing because the book was going around now it's not going to be the same for you obviously it's going to be a lot more difficult for you but uh in order to elucidate the values that we need to elucidate for you it's like <clears throat> As I was saying, you have an advantage in the factor that you have me as a spotter. My spotter was a little more tricky. She wasn't as straightforward, but she, she was a lot more powerful and amazing than I am. But what I'm, gonna, I'm doing here with my training is I am advancing in my training in the sense that I'm learning to use spot casting like she did to orchestrate synchronicities and, and to manifest things in that way. And you are going to be my my practice dummy for this. It's going to allow me to engage you directly and actually teach you about what I'm doing as I'm doing it and effectively learn how to make use of the internet better. I've gotten pretty damn good at it with, with people just randomly. You know, I, I'm able to control, control, I'm able to manipulate to some extent the activities of entire communities and I'm in, in fact watching out for and take, in some cases taking charge of various communities in, in the internet world. But um, I, I want to get it down pat. I want to learn how to do it very precisely. I want to get to the point where I feel as confident in myself as I was confident in her. I want to feel like I've, I've achieved the same kind of level as her. And in order to do that, I need to practice, practice, practice. And I need to practice with somebody who's actually going to give feedback, somebody who's going to act as an actual student. So Siobhan, as I said, is going to be the exemplary student for this, both with the Kundalini course, retraining himself to, to do precisely essentially what I did, only much faster and with much less uh, hazard, but much less damage, but um, also allow for me to train in spot casting and to present examples of that and to elucidate that for the both of us so that hopefully uh, by the time he finishes this course, he'll actually be caught up with me for the most part. Like I'm going to dump everything I have as fast as I can and we are going to get you it, it, as far as I can take you, as fast as is possible. So, just stick with the course and don't be afraid. There are a lot of things that you're going to encounter that you're going to need to be strong. There are things you're going to come across, across throughout the, the course of this that are terrifying. Things that can tear you apart at a fucking soul level. You're going to have to be very strong. But as I was saying, one of the advantages you have is me at your back. And... and when I went out, you know, you go out following these insights and shit, following the synchronicities, you're not sure, you're unsure of it, you're not sure if you believe it. Some people nowadays, even at, at as, as low as your age, as young as your age, could be moving to the factor where they, they are moving into the factor where they 
begin to, you know, start believing that they cannot believe what they choose to. Like, you can't choose to believe something. You can't change your mind about things. First thing, you can change your mind anytime you want to. I do not recommend you changing your mind about this because once you're on the wayless road, you don't ever get off. So if you try to back out, all you're going to do is prolong the inevitable and possibly do damage to yourself in various ways. So stick to the path. Uh, I, I got your back, man. Let me guide you. Follow my lead. You'll make it to where you want to get going. But uh, So yeah, you have me here to, to give you the first value that you, you want to have and keep in mind is that I fucking promise you this shit is for real. It will work out. You don't, you, if you can't manifest your own faith in the matter, then put my faith into play. You have my faith. I'm, I'm promising you that this shit is legit. You know, I'm a true and skeptical investigator. I'm not going to bullshit you. I'm not going to tell you a fucking thing that I don't know firsthand from experience, repeated experimental experience. So, first thing we want to get those insights in play. Now, as I said, it was easier for me because I had a spotter leading me in person. I had so many different examples set up around the places where I went to. It was happening around me. It's not going to be like that for you. But what we need for you to do here is go ahead, go back to what you read of the Celestine Prophecy. Firstly, I'd like for you to give feedback on what you thought of the books, what you thought of the two books, what you feel you got out of them. That's the first thing. I want a full report on that shit here in the comments or if you want to do a video. But here, in the open, so everybody else can see it. You're the example. You're, you are in the lead here. So, I want a full report on that. But secondarily, I want you to go ahead and, and go back to the Celestine Prophecy. And, and again, you have a secondary kind of unfair advantage to where I was in the fact that you've already read The Peaceful Warrior. So you have those values in play. You can apply that discipline and that 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 coercion to your experience of the insights apply that discipline take the first three insights go out into your daily life whether it's a free roam open day with cash in your pocket and and all the time in the world 24 hours free and 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 you know full on anywhere you can go anything you want to do or it's you know waking up feeling shitty <clears throat> going to the everyday nine to five you know, no time for dinner, even going to drop the moment you get home kind of day. Either way, no matter what's going on, take the first three insights and seek them. Put into play, via your own intention, the, the demand, demand of the world that it presents you examples, that it presents you an example of these insights living. So take the first three, that's going to be up to the aura, I believe. That's going to be up to uh, reading, the, reading the halo around around bodies that's going to be the third chapter i believe and you want to take those first three insights and you want to put them in play and we need for you to manifest them if you don't get them right away the first day try again the next and and until you get those those three insights in play and you get a revelation as to you know if they had the thing in the peaceful warrior where sock made danny sit on the fucking car until he had a revelation that's what we're doing with you you need to have a re revelation regarding those three insights and you need to give us feedback that is satisfactory. You know, I'll know when it's satisfactory. When you have spotted true value, then we can move on from those first three insights. And while you're doing it, what I want you to have uh, in mind is just a backup. Something that you can use all the time is there, there are exercises in this playlist, in the ICT playlist, that have <clears throat> forging and... and I believe uh, tactile imaging should be in here, but uh, to quick run over is I want you to move your body and especially you want to, you need to get a feel for the chakras. We can't have you visualizing this stupid bullshit like the assholes tell you in the books, like visual, visualize colored lights and fill yourself with, no, fuck that, that's not going to work and it's stupid. What we need you to do is get a feel for those chakras in action, so you need to be Firstly, he, this guy, Shaban, he, he's a male. He has a penis, this guy. So clench your penis, clench your anus, clench that lower extremity, clench your gut, clench your abdomen, clench it, hold it, clench the penis, the, you know, all of these. Clench the solar plexus, the chest, along with the arms. The arms are a big part. Clench those arms, you know, flex it. 
and flex your jaw and your throat muscles, and flex your brow, and the crown will get to that at the end. You don't want to bring it up to the crown. If you actually start to feel that, that light fill you, that orgasm start to creep up your spine, hold off. Don't let that get up to here. Um, you know, I, I'll get, I'll do, I could do a whole series of videos on the hazards and warnings and dangers of this. Just that for now, do not allow that to carry up to the top. We cannot do that yet. But I want you to just clench those areas, the penis, the an penis and anus, the gut or abdomen, the solar plexus, chest, the throat, and, and the, the jaw and the brow and practice clenching those and releasing them and then afterwards I want you to sit and, and actually kind of visualize. You don't have to like visualize like imagine but just do a meditation and you can do this anytime. You can do this while you're working. You can do this while you're driving. You can do this any, any time of the day, anything you're doing, especially while you're sleeping. I want you to just with your, your power of your mind, your imagination in a manner of speaking, recreate that feeling of tension, that clenching, without actually clenching the muscles. You need to be able to recreate that feeling in your body without actually moving the physical body in that way. Um, what, what you're learning to do here is grab a hold of the impulse. You're learning to produce a charge. You're, you're learning to produce an electrical charge without activity so that you can just do it via intention. And, and then also you can move your arms around and then while you're lying down to sleep, imagine that, try to recreate the feeling of moving your arms around, get a feel for your phantom body, get a feel for, for pressing that charge, use the techniques I gave in the forging and the tactile imaging videos and just practice that, practice that all the time whenever you think of it and put those insights into play, realize that you are putting those, the, the insights for synchronicity, they're just a schematic that James Redfield came up with. Some people helped him do it. It's just, a, it's just a schematic. There's nothing absolutely real to it. Nothing is certain. It's just a method to make this happen. So you want to take those. You can, you can fine tune them in your own ways if you want to, in whatever way you can think of. You can ask me for assistance, but put those first three insights into play. Get that. Get a revelation, get a, an example of them in your life, experience it and understand it as being real. Realize that you are putting that schematic in play and that it is your faith in yourself. And, and as I said, if you need my faith, use it. it it's, it's your presence and your intention that brings it to life. You are inspiring it. You are enjoying it. You are enlightening it. And we want you to be enlightening. We have to approach this on three fronts, mind, body, spirit. That's psychology, biology or physiology, and emotions. We need to get all of those fronts running in, in balance. So <clears throat> be inspiring. Uh, uh, be inspired, I mean, that is to say be the inspiring factor, not just be motivated in and of yourself, be interested, be excited. I mean, we want you to be out there actively exciting, motivating, Anyone you happen to come across, be the fucking light in the darkness. Take every chance you get to be excellent in the presence of others and, and to try and boost their their feelings, their presence in some way. You know, that that's gonna be the emotional factor to it. The psychological factor is realizing that these insights are in play, that you can make use of them, essentially realizing that synchronicity is in play. And <clears throat> the the physiological factor obviously is going to be the, the manifesting a charge but you, you need to while you're doing this realize that the world is your friend the world is alive these synchronicities it's the world speaking to you and the more that you speak to it the more that you listen to it speaking the more and more and more it will speak to you and it will provide for you in, in so many different ways sometimes it might go south sometimes it might seem as though things are getting rocky things are getting dicey the world is out to get you even but trust me, it's always a blessing in disguise. So ride it out, be confident, be strong, be fucking excellent. For now, that's what we need you to do. Give me the feedback on what you thought of the books. Firstly, second, head for the insights, the first three, then the next three, then the next three. Uh, thank you everyone else for watching. We want you to participate. Anybody who has anything to add, anything to put into it, if you've read the books, if you intend to read the books, if you practice any of these exercises, if there's anything that you do to work with the Kundalini Impulse yourself, 
present anything you got. This is a fully participatory course. So, again, thank you all for watching. Thank you, Shabon, for being here. A badass, I promise you, we're going to get you to a motherfucking mastered level in no time. Kila Salai, Terve Unisiari, Namaste.